subscribe ecofan for more educational videos welcome dear learners today we are going to discuss about the regenerative agriculture regenerative agriculture is conservation and rehabilitation approach to food and farming system basically regenerative agriculture is an alternative means of producing food that it advocates claim may have lower or even net positive environmental or social impacts regenerative agriculture has recently received significant attention from producers retailers researchers and consumers as well as politicians and the mainstream media also despite widespread interest in regenerative agriculture no legal or regulatory definition of the term regenerative agriculture exists nor has a widely accepted definition emerged in common usage so basically regenerative agriculture focuses on topsoil regeneration increasing biodiversity improving the water cycle enhancing ecosystem services supporting <clears throat> bio sequestration increasing resilience to climate change and strengthening the health and vitality of farm soils so as a philosophy and approach to the land management regenerative agriculture asks us to think about how well all aspects of agriculture are connected through a web a network of entities who grow enhance exchange distribute and consume goods and services instead of all uh, instead of a linear supply chain it's about forming and ranching in a style that nourishes people and the earth with a specific practices varying from grower to grower and from region to region there is no strict rule book but the holistic principles behind dynamic system of regenerative agriculture and are met to meant to restore soil and ecosystem health addresses in equity and leave our land water and climate in a better shape for future generation that is the sustainable kind of agriculture <clears throat> so the regenerative agriculture is a moment drawing the realization among more people that an indigenous approach to agriculture can help uh, to restore ecologies fight climate change rebuild the relationship and spark economic development and also bring joy to the humans why we need a uh, regenerative agriculture so agriculture has a significant environmental uh, footprints it is associated with approximately one third of the global land use and is a key driver of uh, land use change globally including across uh, the biodiverse topics food production is also associated with 15 percent of the greenhouse gas emissions and at the same time global food uh, needs are anticipated to grow as a consequence of increases both in population and per capita demand in response to these various pressures many actors are seeking more sustainable ways of producing food so regenerative agriculture has been proposed as an alternative means of producing food that may have lower or even net positive environmental and social impacts a range of claims have been made by different parties about potential of regenerative agriculture to enhance the sustainability of the food production including for the possibility that regenerative agriculture could form part of climate change uh, mitigation strategy so the care and uh, creativity uh, regenerative growers showcase yields benefits on of land they grow food fiber draw carbon down uh, conserve water replenish waterways grow healthier foods and reduce their uses of synthetic inputs uh, and employ people with their communities and ensure the long-term vitality of the land so <clears throat> 
The benefits that we derive from the regenerative agriculture can be categorized as an ecological benefits in which there is an improvement in the soil health and fertility. So the foundation of healthy water, nutrients and carbon cycles as evidenced by healthier crops, increasing yields, improved soil testing results and vibrant micro, uh, microbial communities. And biodiversity on land, in air and water following uh, the improved biodiversity in the soil, including richer plant, bird and insect population. It reduces the soil erosion because there is minimum uh, disturbance of the soil. Reduction in water pollution uh, includes contribution uh, to uh, that uh, basically because of the harmful algal bloom due to the fewer chemical inputs and improvement to the water holding capacity of the soil basically increased increase in the uh, soil organic matter so the personal and the regional economic benefits of the regenerative agriculture is the cost saving from reduced use of antibiotics as uh, and chemical fertilizers herbicides and pesticides and there is greater financial security from diversified revenue streams and the promotion of rural economic development with local employment and healthier food choices besides there are many other benefits also like network of growers who exchange information learn from one another another and build community one form or ranch visitors uh, and networks of farmers market that helps farmers and ranchers to build a strong relationship between consumers uh, and their food and uh, the or there is also a mental and physical benefits Many regenerative agriculture farmers and ranchers report feeling joy through their profession and the health of the farmers, farm workers, downstream community all benefit from reduced use of and exposure to harmful chemicals. So these were some personal, regional and ecological benefits of regenerative agriculture in brief. Regenerative agriculture techniques, uh, the first technique is cover cropping. Cover cropping is a practice of planting crops in the soil that would normally otherwise be bare after a cash uh, crop is grown and harvested. By keeping living roots in the soil, cover crops reduce soil erosion, increase water retention capacity, improve soil health, increase biodiversity and more. They can be planted uh, during harvest time and in between rows of permanent crops. Then holistic, holistically managed uh, grazing, uh, also known as intense to rotational grazing. Holistically managed grazing, also known as intensive uh, rotational grazing, is an uh, indigenous practice that mimics uh, the way large animals move in herds across grasslands. This method of grazing moves livestock between pastures on a regular basis to improve soil fertility and allows pasture grasses time to grow. Another one is no-till farming. Uh, no-till farming is a technique that leaves the soil intact when planting rather than disturbing the soil through plowing. Composting is basically the uh, decomposition of the farm residues in the farm in the pits so and then use it as, as a fertilizer when growing uh, before uh, growing any, any other new crop. So another one is reduced or no fossil fuel based input, uh, including pesticides. So building uh, soil health and leveraging other natural systems to help manage pests and to reduce reliance on pests or other chemicals, regardless of whether a, farm, a farmer decides to pursue organic uh, certification. Another one is agroforestry is an indigenous practice wherein for growers mimic forest system by integrating trees and shrubs into crop uh, and animal systems. 
then conservation buffer like hedgerows, hedgerows and riparian buffers. Uh, basically, areas of land populated with various plants to help manage specific environmental issues. Hedgerows are lines of shrubs or trees around farm fields that act as a windbreaks and uh, habitat for beneficial organisms. Riparian buffers are vegetated uh, zones near streams that serve as a habitat protection, water quality and mitigate flooding. So these were some techniques by which we can apply the regenerative agriculture. So now we can talk about the climate change and regenerative agriculture. So agriculture plays a significant role in contributing to the climate change. Our food systems are also suffering enorm uh, enormous consequences from rising temperatures and increases in the extreme weather events like droughts, floods. The regenerative agriculture movement addresses the climate crisis with practice that sequester more carbon into the soil and help uh, make farmland and local communities more resilient. In fact, farming and ranching can play an important role or part in natural climate solutions. Uh, some of the ways by which we can integrate climate change with re regenerative agriculture are, for example, improve uh, soil health to mitigate climate change impacts. So climate change impacts soil is one of the Earth's greatest carbon sink. Uh, to photosynthesis and microbes with proper care, soil can be drawn down 20 uh, to 50 million metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent uh, greenhouse gases. <clears throat> so another one is it boosts climate resilience. As flood, drought and other extreme event uh, weather patterns become more frequent, farmers and ranchers are preparing their land to be more resilient. Healthy soils with high enormous amount of uh, organic matter are able to absorb more water during floods to benefit the farmer and downstream communities and even help maintain water security during a drought. So these uh, were some benefits and then to get fossil fuels out of agriculture. So our climate and health depends on ending our resilience on fossil fuels. So based, uh, fossil fuel based fertilizers and pesticides, basically how can we opt out fossil fuels from the agriculture. So another one is reduction in the or reduce the greenhouse gas emission from the agriculture. About 10% of uh, the US greenhouse gas emissions are attributed to the farmers. Uh, according to U.S. Environment Protection Agency, with the largest sources being livestock such as cows or cattle, agriculture soils, rice production, some regenerative agriculture practices uh, that include no-till farming, cover cropping or rotational grazing can decrease overall emissions from the agriculture sector. Then another one is increase food production and preserve agriculture land. So con considering that by 2050, we will need uh, to feed a world population uh, trending about 10 billion people. So, so farmers and ranchers need to make even greater efforts to the sustainably increase their productivity of their lands. Of course, uh, as population increases, farmland is impacted in different ways, in different regions. In some places, agriculture land is at risk of conserve, uh, conserve, uh, conservation, uh, conversion to sub, uh, subs, uh, in some places agriculture land is at risk of conversion to suburban and urban developments. So these uh, we have to preserve our agriculture lands for maximum production. And another one is and last one protect and restore natural ecosystems. In other areas, mainly in tropical and subtropical regions, forests and grasslands are being converted to agriculture uses. Farmland is not just increasing uh, in these places, but it is also shifting into more ecologically fragile areas, which are vital for the health ecosystems. Land management efforts that 
complement regenerative agriculture practices would help to preserve these natural carbon sinks along with wildlife habitat and biodiversity abundant or unproductive farm or ranch lands should be restored or restored to natural ecosystem to minimize further land degradation and soil erosion so this was all brief about the regenerative agriculture i hope you all enjoyed